Hey guys, Justin here. Um, just checking up on our weather report for this weekend, so I'll let you know, you know what to expect out here on the lake. And I'm going to fill you in what's been going on uh, with all the rain we've had this week. Uh, so stay tuned. Here's your next fishing report. <music> report out with kind of filling you guys in what's going on with the weather out here we've had a lot of rain this week a lot of wind this week so the water is turned up a little bit but don't fret guys are still catching fish even though the water's dirty um guys tend to forget that the one time this lake was not crystal clear uh so these fish will eat in dirty water they have to eat they're getting ready for the spawn um saturday i mean we're looking at you know higher winds and some rain showers in in the uh afternoon into the evening um, but the direction of the wind tends to be a north to northwest, which means for you, uh, the angler is most of the U.S. waters will be fairly calm for the most part and fishable. You won't get beat up too bad unless you get a long ways away from shore um, in a couple areas. So weather-wise, we're looking pretty good. Sunday, we had a northerly wind, a um, little more sun, pretty much no chance of rain. Uh, so yeah. It's not going to be a terrible weekend. It's not going to be a great weekend. Um, but let's get into reports. For you guys chasing perch, um, I basically have one word of advice for you guys. Go out and fish. Um, so many guys have focused so much time on walleye and other species this year that they have totally forgotten perch. And part of that could be because the last few years we've had eh, subpar spring perch fishing. Um, but the guys that have actually put in the effort have done well this spring. Um, this week has definitely not been the most conducive uh, for chasing the yellow bellies. Um, but if you're looking to get yourself a perch dinner, there's a couple areas that I would definitely go take a look at. Um, and all this is relative to how the water clears up or gets dirtier as we progress into the weekend after all the rain we had. Um, I would probably hang around Salfridge, um, the sub dock would be a, a good little area to check that tends to get a little more protected from uh, the dingy water and less sulfurage. The creek is dumping a bunch of stuff in. Um, up around Fairhaven and Movie Bay uh, should be a good area. A lot of grass beds up there, a couple sunken barges. Uh, if you know where those are, could hold a few fish for you along with some rock bass. Um, but Geno's, uh, 400 Club, those historically are good areas to go check this time of the year. Uh, so if you're wanting to do something different than walleye because you got your freezer full of them, uh, come out here, try out these perch. Uh, they are here. Going to have to do a little hunting to find them because not a lot of guys have been on top of them. Uh, but they are around, guys, and the average size has been a little bit better uh, this spring than it has been the last two years. Uh, so good luck for those. Bluegill, sunfish, crappie, and all those fun saucer-sized fish. Um... It's gotten a little bit slower this week. Uh, a lot of that is due to the weather and the lack of guys going out and pursuing them. Um, but there's, those fish are still there. They did not leave uh, where they have been. Um, there's going to be better canals, better activity levels in certain canals that are a little more protected from this weather. Um, but with a little bit nicer weather coming this weekend, uh, you should see those fish kind of turn back on. And then going into the next week, uh, those bites should get really good. Uh, rock bass are still going good even in this dirty water. They're pretty aggressive fish. They're looking for food uh, They're bulking up their spawns right around the corner as well. Uh, so rock bass are a good option as well any of the sunken barges uh, rock jetties uh, old broken up Anything that's got a hole in it is gonna have a rock bass it seems in the month of May uh, so head on out uh, if you're looking for some panfish That's what where you're gonna see them is in these canals right now and around the channel mouths and uh, good luck. Uh, for you bass guys, uh, I gotta give you guys the uh, Big Balls Award. Um, out of all the fishermen we had through the shop here, um, you guys by far are probably the most diehard guys we've had in this week. Um, you guys have basically gave the lake a big middle finger and uh, kept on fishing, and you guys are being rewarded, the guys that are doing this. Um, they're catching a lot of fish on a variety of baits, um, but there's two main categories that keep coming up, um, and it's been a theme for the guys that are in town fishing right now. 
One is like a bass grub, uh, like a, a Kalen style grub or a forage grub like you'd get from Extreme Bass Tackle. Um, <clears throat> and your darker greens and perchy colors. And the same kind of thing is going true for the tubes for the guys that are fishing from the boat. Um, some of the tubes that have been really common with guys, uh, you got MP Choker, Smallmouth Magic, and this is Gobi Ice. Uh, these are English Choice tubes, um, MG or Mango Magic. Um, those have been a popular one as well with guys. Um, for the shore guys though, uh, they're tending to go a little bit brighter, a little bit lighter in their colors um, in the areas they're fishing. Uh, like the Pearl Flash, the Cisco, and the Chartreuse Glimmer. Um, I kind of classify these as more of like bed fishing colors, but the shore guys are gravitating to, the, to these brighter colors. And that's probably um, working for them because of the amount of shiners and shad that are up on the rocks feeding right now. It makes sense that these brighter, lighter colors are working for them, where the guys that are out in the boats are fishing smallmouth that are generally targeting the crayfish uh, that are starting to come out on the lake. Uh, what they're doing is mainly dragging the bait. Um, and hopping off the bottom, and they're having a lot of success. There's still some guys fishing hair jigs, jerk baits, a little bit of reaction, uh, bite action going on with like lipless baits and some square bills and some shallower deep divers. Um, but all in all, it's all on plastics. Uh, grubs and tubes have been the more consistent performers for you bass guys out here. Um, so good luck this weekend. Walleye, walleye, walleye. Walleye is still the number one pursued fish right now again this week. Uh, most of the guys in, are starting to kind of, well, I wouldn't say most of the guys, but some guys are starting to leave the Detroit River um, due to the white bass starting to show up, um, which is not a bad thing if you're looking to have fun, take the kids out fishing. Uh, white bass can make for a very entertaining day. Uh, minimal amount of work, and you can catch a lot of fish in a short time, which a lot of kids don't want to spend eight, 12 hours on a boat. They just want to go out for two to four, and it's a good fish to go after and keep them occupied. Um, but I digress on the white bass, the scourge of Detroit River, as some people think of them as. Uh, the walleye, the walleye action Detroit River is still still going fairly decent. Uh, guys are got some dirty water to deal with uh, for this weekend, uh, so I'd definitely focus on those darker uh, colors, and also the UV reactive colors would be an also a good choice. Uh, if you're wanting to get into some cleaner water, more consistent fishing, uh, the St. Clair River has been absolutely phenomenal from shore and by boat. Uh, guys are pulling limits literally every day right now uh, as fast as an hour or two uh, for their whole boat getting limited out. Uh, basically from Algonac uh, State Park all the way up to Port Huron is where the best action is coming. There is a few guys whipping, there's a few guys handlining at night as well, uh, but most of it is either casting from shore, letting the jig bounce down in the current, or jiggers. Uh, primarily guys are fishing your lighter and your brighter colors, your Wonder Bread, Sexy Shiner, uh, Ballsy Blue, um, these lighter, more natural colors. Funky Fish is another good one, uh, Blue Ice. Um, so when you're looking for color choices up there, go with something like that. Um, antifreeze heads black has been working well um, purple descent I've done I've done well with um, over the last weekend or so uh, so overall uh, I'm feeling for walleye that's kind of low down on them if it's me I'm going to St. Clair River this weekend uh, the lake guys uh, here um, they haven't been a ton of them out there but they are there are catching a few fish uh, hopefully this weather when it stabilizes next week you guys would get out there on the lake fish and have a good time and get prepped for May Madness, which is right around the corner. Now, I hinted at this um, in the walleye segment of this report about the white bass show on Detroit River. There is a very good population here um, on the Detroit River system, probably the largest spawning population in the country. Uh, so it makes for some very entertaining and fun fishing. Um, if you're just looking to to get your line pulled on a whole bunch of times, um, that's a great fish to go after. You do not have to be necessarily in the Detroit River to catch them. Uh, the Huron River, the Raisin River, a lot of the larger creeks along uh, Lake Erie and the ones that dump into the Detroit River uh, will produce fish. Also off the point here at the Metro Park, uh, right outside the shop here, um, here in a week or so, I would not be shocked to hear guys starting to catch quite a few of them from shore. 
Um, generally what you want to do is look for birds that are feeding on a surface in a condensed area. Uh, that tends to highlight the fact there's some white bass pushing some minnows up to the surface. And those are some good areas to go take a look at is where you're seeing that kind of activity. Um, some guys will fish them with a bobber and a minnow and do pretty well. Uh, generally those guys are fishing the inactive fish when you're fishing light bait. Um, my go-to thing is a white twister tail grub or an inline spinner or just something easy and simple to work. You don't have to overthink it. You're just casting and retrieving. Those are what the, the, the lures of choice that I would do for that. Um, so if you're just looking to go out and catch a bunch of fish and you want to go stay down the Detroit River, um, white bass would be a good option if the walleye didn't work out for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. It helps me. It helps the channel. It helps everyone that likes to catch fish.